No way. Spencer reveal ass's impudent words, Meghan wasn't allowed to wear the Spencer tiara. Meghan Markle wouldn't have been allowed to wear the famed Spencer tiara when she married Prince Harry. It's common sense, she wasn't marrying into the Spencer family, but the royal family. Yes, her late mother-in-law Diana, Princess of Wales, was born a Spencer, but neither of her sons, Prince William and Harry, carry their mother's surname. They're royals or Windsors. Also, the former actress is not a blood Spencer. Acclaimed author and journalist Tom Bauer wrote in his book Revenge that the Spencers, William and his wife Catherine, were left baffled by Harry's claim that his then-girlfriend embodied his late mother. A tweet from a Megxiteer, Robin Lynn King, brought attention to a tweet from Sussex squad Myra, believed to be Meghan herself. In it, she said the following, I think about the absolute hell the Queen's staff gave Meghan about her wedding tiara. So much so that the Spencers offered Meghan the Spencer tiara and a wedding veil was designed around it. When the Queen realized how bad the optics would be for the royals, she woke up. This could be based somewhat on Harry's claim in his memoir, where he claimed that his mother's family had offered Meghan to wear the Spencer tiara and that the edges of the veil were designed around the scalloped edges of the Spencer tiara. This is according to an article by the Sussex's favorite publication, The Daily Mail. In the book, The Prince, Harry claimed that the Spencer tiara was owned by his mother. Now, Diana didn't personally own the tiara, instead, it's an heirloom handed down throughout the generations of Spencer women. For example, both of her sisters, Baroness Jane Fellows and Lady Sarah McCorkdale, wore the tiara when they got married as well. Why would Charles Spencer allow Meghan to wear the tiara and not Catherine? Harry thought his uncle and aunts approved of his then fiance being like their late sister. However, we know from Tom Bower's book that they felt the opposite of what the nephew thought. We don't believe that Meghan was ever offered the Spencer tiara. Also, the part of the story where Harry claims that the Queen begged Markle to wear one of the royal tiaras is total. Her late majesty wouldn't beg anyone. That's not her style. Although the former Princess of Wales never met the Duchess of Sussex, Prince Harry hoped the rest of his family on his mother's side would spot similarities between the two women but was disappointed when they didn't. Writing in Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the war between the Windsors, Mr. Bauer discussed Prince Harry's introduction of Meghan to Baroness Jane Fellows and Lady Sarah McCorkendale, then his two sisters, and the late princess's friend Julia Samuel. He claimed Harry assumed that Diana's family and friends would see a similarity between Diana and his fiancée. Both, he said, shared the same problems. He was disappointed no one agreed that his vulnerable mother had anything in common with his girlfriend. More discomforting for him they thought Meghan wouldn't fit in with the royal family. Mr. Bauer then claimed that Diana's brother Charles Spencer was urged to voice the siblings unease by Prince William. This inspired a bitter reaction from the Duke of Sussex, according to Mr. Bauer. Mr. Bauer continued, the runnies was voiced by Charles Spencer, Diana's brother, at William's request. Spencer cautioned his nephew to reconsider his haste towards marriage. His advice provoked a bitter reaction.